Hello and welcome to this short video in the how-to series which will detail the steps required to use attribute match types in Blue Prism. By the end of this video, you will be able to use the different attribute match types in Blue Prism. The application modeler is a function in the object studio of Blue Prism that allows developers to create a logical representation of an application. It works by identifying or spying and capturing the various elements from the user interface of the application. Each element that has been identified is then defined by creating a list of attributes which combine together to form a unique digital fingerprint known as the attributes list of that element. This fingerprint allows the business object to identify and use the element to perform a number of tasks within a Blue Prism process. Note that this list is a suggestion only and will need to be reviewed and possibly revised. Attributes are edited by checking or unchecking the match column in the attributes list. You are able to change the match types and add certain values to help identify an attribute. Some elements may be too difficult to define. For example, you may have two elements which are just too similar for the application modeler to identify between them. In that case, manual adjustments can be made to distinguish the two elements. All attributes must be uniquely identified by the information contained in their attribute list. You can confirm an attribute has been uniquely identified by clicking the highlight button. There are five match types. These are equal, not equal, numeric, wildcard and dynamic. Let's go into these in a little more detail. The application modeler will set all match types in the attribute list to equal. As its name suggests, this match type will perform a full value or phrase match against the target element attribute value. It will search only for exact matches to the value or text. The match type not equal, as its name suggests, will perform a full value or phrase match against the attribute value of the target element. It will return a positive match only if the value is not matched. The numeric match type lets you build match criteria based on attribute values such as length and width. There are four numeric types to consider when using this match type. These are greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, and less than or equal to. You can perform what's known as a fuzzy match using the wildcard match type. Fuzzy matching is a technique where you identify a non-exact word or phrase match for an attribute value. There are three main types of wildcard. These are the asterisk symbol, the question mark symbol, and the hash symbol. Let's take a closer look at each of these in more detail. The asterisk symbol matches against an expression of any number of characters. The question mark symbol matches against an expression of a single character. The hash symbol matches against an expression of a single number. The dynamic match type enables you to match against values which could potentially change. To enable this function, logic must be configured to change the match value in the application modeler. Let's take a closer look at how you change the match type in the application modeler. Let's open an example object. In this example, I'm going to go to the launch tab. Now I shall select a step from the diagram and open up the application modeler. I will then select an element to display the attribute list and you can see the match column where the matching process is defined for the attributes with the checkbox selected. Note that when scrolling down the list, everything has been set to the initial default of match type equals. To turn on matching for any additional attributes, I need to tick the match checkbox for the attribute. To change to a different match type, simply click on the match type drop down menu to see the other available match types for this attribute. Once done, select the appropriate option for the process and click Apply to save the change. In this short how-to video, you have seen how to use the different attribute match types in Blue Prism. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to learn more about any of the Blue Prism products, please visit the Blue Prism University via the link in the description below. Or visit the Blue Prism University community to get support from other members and participate in various discussions. This is also available in the link in the description below.